Cryptids, mysterious creatures that defy belief with their extraordinary features. A whale that slides down mountains causing rock slides. A possible relative to Bigfoot and the Yeti found in the Magian Rim. A crocodilian serpent living in the depths of Bear Lake named Isabella. Are they real or fake? Well, I know one thing that is fake. Fake Mon based on these fantastic creatures. Hey everyone, Brandon here with another video featuring my fake mon region, the Cornera region. This time we are discussing some cryptid fake mon. If you missed previous videos in this series, make sure to check them out, the playlist is in the description. But before we get started talking about these cryptid fake mon, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. If we can hit 3000 likes on this video, I will show off some more amazing cryptid fake mon. Also, become a member if you want to show some extra support to the channel. So for the Cornera region, I really wanted to have some fake mon based on cryptids, because they are so popular here in the US. I also wanted to try to stick to cryptids found only in the Four Corners region, since that's where Cornera is based on, and I did, for the most part, with some design elements being based on cryptids from other states and even countries. So I'm taking a look at this script as I'm reading it, and noticing a trend, so it made me think of a drinking game. Take a sip every time I say cryptid. I apologize in advance to your liver. Anyway, let's get into some fake mon. Starting us off is a Cornera mon you may be familiar with, if you watch the new type combos video. This is Jackabit, a fairy fighting type jackalope Pokemon. Not that I really need to explain, since it is such a famous creature, but for those living under a rock, a jackalope is a jackrabbit with the antlers of an antelope. The origin of this creature comes from the 1930s, when the Herrick brothers, who were hunters and skilled taxidermists, grafted deer antlers onto a jackrabbit mount, and sold it to a hotel in Douglas, Wyoming. Just a warning, but what I'm about to show may be gross to some. But, some say the inspiration of the jackalope comes from rabbits with the slope papillomavirus, which causes these horn-like protrusions to come out of the rabbit's body. But don't worry, jackabit's horns are just horns, and not some disease or mutation of Pokerus. Next up we have Cornarin Lapras, which is inspired by a few things. The shell is inspired by the cathedral spires in Rocky Mountain National Park. The reason for it being in Cornera is the myth of dinosaurs still being alive in Colorado. And the design itself is inspired by the Bear Lake Monster. As I said in the intro, this is a crocodilian serpent that has been sighted numerous times in Bear Lake since the 19th century. This is when Joseph C. Rich wrote some articles about the monster, based on secondhand accounts of sightings. Ever since then it has grown into a tourist attraction, and even has its own guided tour on Bear Lake. It is said that this is the oldest form of Lapras. Unlike Cantonian Lapras, Cornarin Lapras doesn't like humans, and will hide at the bottom of rivers and lakes to avoid them. Due to this, the people of Cornera thought this Pokemon was just a myth. As some of you may know, Lapras is one of my favorite Pokemon, so obviously I had to include this amazing variant in Cornera. Next up are Boltiny and Bolterror which are Rock Normal, a new type combo, and Rock Dark. They are both based on the Colorado cryptid, the Slide Rock Bolter. This gargantuan whale-like beast was known to slide down mountains and eat hikers, or bury them in the rock slides they cause. It is said to have been the cause for many disappearances over the years, and is blamed for the destruction of the mining town of Rico, Colorado. Back to Boltiny and Bolterror though, Boltiny is just a small little whale Pokemon, it likes to roll down hills and mountains pretending it's a boulder. This can sometimes cause it to hit other Pokemon or trainers, which only causes a minor amount of damage, seeing as it is the weight and size of an exercise ball, but if those rocks on the top of its head hit you, you're gonna have a bad time. But Bolterror, on the other hand, is not a Pokemon to be trifled with. It continues its love of rolling down hills, but in a much more destructive way. It can swim through solid rock and sand like it's water, but with it brings massive land and rock slides that it can use very accurately against opponents. Which leads to its ability, Stone Mason, which makes all rock type moves it uses 100% accurate. I know I really don't talk about abilities too much in these videos, but if that's information you would like to know, all the abilities and stats of the Pokemon are available on the Cornera Region Instagram account, linked in the description below, so go check that out if you haven't already. We also have another Rock-type Cryptid Mon with Corneran Sableye. It is Rock-Ghost-type, which is another new type combo. 
This little guy is based on the legend of Tommyknockers. These leprechaun-esque creatures are of Cornish origin, where Cornish miners believed them to knock on the cave walls to warn them of impending cave-ins. These miners would bring the story with them to America, as they searched the mines during the gold rushes of Colorado, Nevada, and California. There is even a brewery in Idaho Springs, Colorado, named Tommyknockers that started in 1859 during the Colorado Silver Boom, further perpetuating the myth of this cryptid into the mining community. There is also a very scary rendition of these creatures in a book by the legend himself, Stephen King, called The Tommyknockers. Cornair and Sableye draws inspiration from both depictions of the Tommyknockers. Sableye, who used to hide in the darkness of caves, had a rude awakening when the miners came to Cornera seeking its lavish and expensive minerals. The caves became so filled with the light the miners brought with them, they had to adapt, and eventually they learned how to fuse with the cave walls, giving them the rock type. Though the miners invaded their home, mysteriously the Sableye would still look out for the miners and warn them of cave-ins and rock slides before they happen. Gaining its new typing and a sense of friendship with the miners allowed Sableye to evolve into Tom Eye. Tom Eye can sense rare minerals from hundreds of feet away while it is fused with the cave walls, and would help miners in their quest to get rich. Miners would repay their kindness by making them their partner Pokemon, and you can see many miners still use them today. Last but not least is something you guys have been asking to see, the pseudo-legendary of the Cornera region. Well, at least here's one of them. Meet Isakyle, Arctile, and Snowlioth. They are Ice Dragon type, and they are actually a mix of a few different cryptids. The Magian Monster, the Hodag, and the Yeti. As I said in the intro, the Magian Monster was a Sasquatch-like cryptid found in the Magian Rim of Arizona. It was first sighted in 1903 by I. W. Stevens, who described it as an ape-like creature covered in white and gray hair with long, talon-like fingers. And he found it drinking the blood of two cougars. No, not those kind of cougars. The Hodag is a dragon and ox-like creature found in Wisconsin, which was first discovered in 1893 by Eugene Shepard. Shepard would later claim to have captured one and tore it around America, but eventually admitted that it was fake. The Hodag was even featured in an episode of Scooby-Doo. Lastly, the Yeti. Unless you live under a rock, you probably should know what a Yeti is, right? Right. Coincidentally, the Yeti was also in Scooby-Doo, but, you know, that wasn't planned. I actually found out the Hodag was featured in Scooby-Doo while I was writing this. Anyway, as you can see, each member of the line has design elements taken from all three cryptids. Isakyle looks like a derpy baby Hodag, Arctile is more ape-like and semi-bipedal, and gains the fabled claws of the Magian monster, and Snowlioth becomes full-on bipedal with the curved fangs like the Hodag, and the gray and white fur from the Magian monster and the Yeti. And the whole line being ice type is a reference to the Yeti and Magian monster's habitats. But that's it for this video. Let me know which cryptid Pokemon was your favorite in the comments. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Your support on these videos greatly helps this channel grow, and I have the very lofty goal of reaching 25,000 subs by the end of this year. Let's see if we can make that happen. Also, you can become a member if you want to show a little extra support to the channel. Anyway, with that, I will see you guys next time.